Hi guys, thanks for joining me again today. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry up some uh, catfish nuggets into some panko um, coating. So we're going to just go ahead and get that started. What I'm going to do first is with our eggs here, I have three eggs in here. I'm just going to mix those up real quick. Alright, and then instead of putting my seasoning into my panko, I'm actually going to season the egg better. And I'm going to put a little sambal in there, which is a chili paste. Uh, about uh, maybe a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. And I'm also going to add some salt. I'm just using some pink Himalayan salt. That should be enough. I'm going to mix that in. Perfect. Alright, so I'm just going to do a quick wash of the hands. And I'm going to start dipping my catfish nuggets into the egg wash and then into the panko and make sure you push down on that panko to get it nice and crusted move that onto my other plate like I smell the chili paste in the egg these are gonna be really good if you don't like the chili paste you don't have to use it um, if all you want to do is salt and pepper your seasoning, you can also just do that. Um, I think it just depends on how if and if you're going to use any um, dip for your catfish nuggets. And I like using catfish because it's, um, it has a meatier taste to it and it holds up well when you're frying it. If you're frying with something like um, tilapia or swai or something like that, um, sometimes it could fall apart easier when it's frying. Just want to make sure it's coated really good. Do a few more of these and then we'll get them into the oil. I have the oil on the stove going right now. I just put it in my regular old pot. I'm going to do it on the stove top. One more. So I start heating my oil on a high heat. And then I reduce it. So I'm just going to wash these hands off for a moment and I'll be right back and we'll start frying. Alright guys, so we're over at our pot so we want to make sure that our oil is ready to go because we don't want our panko to get soggy from sitting in a um, lukewarm oil. And the best way to find out if your oil is ready is take your chopstick or um, maybe what else can you use? Something similar to this. Just drop it right in there. If it's bubbling, it's ready. Alright, let's go ahead and get those in. Just hold on to it for a minute. And drop it in.
know you're going to think I'm weird when I say this, but it smells good. It smells pretty darn good. Grabbing a plate to have ready when I pull them out, lining it with some uh, paper towel, and this one looks like it's ready for it. What? Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. There we go. Give that other one another minute or so. So we're going to get some more going and on, uh, while these are going, I'm actually going to do a really simple shortcut to fried rice and I'll show you that in just a moment. Alright guys, the catfish is just finishing up. I'm going to show you my, I'm going to call it my faux Chinese fried rice because this is going to be the quickest shortcut of making it that you will ever find. So I'm going to add a little oil in here. Sometimes it helps to turn the burner on. I'm going to show you why it's so quick. It's because we're using steam in the bag long grain rice. So I've already steamed it. I'm going to just open these up. I know what you're thinking. That's not going to be the same. Well, it's pretty close. If you're in a pinch and want to get it done quickly, then it works out just fine. All right, so what I'm, we're going to do first is we're going to fry a couple of um, scrambled eggs in here. I'm just going to pull the catfish off. It was my last batch, so those are all completely done. Uh, two eggs. I'm gonna scramble those up. oil's popping on this other one even though I turned it off. Thank you. 
like I say, I know this isn't authentic fried rice, but it's going to be a good fit for our dish. All right. So I know um, sometimes when uh, you, I've seen people make this, they pull the eggs out and then, you know, start the rest of the process. But the eggs are going to stay in here. I just want to make sure they're broken up. All right, I'm going to add a little more oil. It's about a teaspoon. And I'm going to dump our rice in there. This is your shortcut fried rice. Made a mess. Now I'm gonna add in soy sauce. Add in um, to your taste. I would start um, with small amount first, and then start adding more in, unless you uh, really like the taste of the soy sauce, and you already know. Guys, how easy was that? Fried rice is done. Let's plate. Alright guys, we're all plated. So I have the fried rice, our fried catfish, and then right in the middle um, I'm using a sweet chili sauce. Um, you can find that actually probably in any grocery store or um, Asian market. Um, has a little bit of a kick, but that sweet taste with the catfish tastes really good. All right, this meal was done in less than 30, guys. If, my, uh, if you give it a try at home, let me know if it turns out well. Let me know if it doesn't. Don't let me know. No. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.